A hostage standoff at a packed restaurant ended with a gunman dead. The drama played out on live uh, TV on our air last night. This morning we're hearing from some of the hostages who escaped. CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live in Downey. Joy? You know, Rick, such a terrifying ordeal for so many people. We are live right now in Downey. You can see behind me that the scene where Chris and Pitt's barbecue is has cleared by officers. However, the restaurant is not open, and it is not clear whether those dozens of hostages that were held here will ever be able to forget. Get back! Get back! Get back! The sounds from outside this restaurant Thursday night still echoed the morning after. The image of him pointing the gun in my general direction. Yeah, I won't forget that ever. Madeline Bastidas can't shake what she saw or the fear of being taken hostage. He was just telling us that he didn't want to hurt us and like, but it was it for him and if he had to, he, he would. Bastidas came back to Chris and Pitt's barbecue to get her belongings after a date night with her boyfriend ended with her scared for her life. What were you saying to your boyfriend? Just that I loved him. Oh, oh, oh! The night started just before 7 when sheriff's deputies say they spotted a stolen car. A high speed chase through five communities lasted 45 minutes and ended with a pit maneuver outside this restaurant. You see the suspect run inside. And then he yelled out, All women and babies get out. Natalie Reyes had just blown out the candles on her birthday cake. Scared because the man had a gun. But Bastidas was still inside, huddled with other hostages by the suspect together in one area. He began to, um, you know, tell us, you know, it's it for him and that he wanted to call his children. She says a stranger begged for her safety, and then she was part of the second group released, leaving just four hostages inside when she heard the gunfire. Immediately I started crying. I, I didn't know what was going on. At that moment, I knew people were still in there. SWAT team members killed the suspect, and hostages like Bastidas are still haunted by the way this all ended. It's sad in that sense, but at the same time, like he inflicted so much like fear to so many people. Now, as for that suspect, I did just speak with the coroner's office. They say they are not yet releasing the name of him simply because they are waiting to notify next of Ken. But we have learned a few things about him, at least according to the hostages, that he told everyone that he was a father. Reporting live, Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.